What's up guys, Michigan Air Gunner. We're out here today with the Bulldog M257. Um, I have done a video with this before, but I ended up not posting it because I really wasn't happy with the results. Um, I was using what I believe were too heavy of slugs. Uh, the slugs I was using was 80 and above. And I, I just wasn't happy with it. So what I ended up doing was actually going home, messing around with this thing a little bit. I turned the hammer spring, damn mosquitoes, turned the hammer spring up all the way in, then back one turn and started shooting again. And I had much better results with that. Uh, Mr. Hollow Point went ahead and sent us some of his slugs. We're going to be testing, oh, 55 grain, 70 grain in 82 grain no that is not all the slugs he shoots but that is the lightest slugs that i could get um nsa the lightest slug i could get was 65 grain and we'll be testing that too uh, this was actually sent to me by uh benjamin they got a hold of me they asked me if i wanted to uh, check out one of their guns and I really thought they were going to send me the M357, but they sent me this one. But it's not all bad. So, anyway, if you want anything like this, you can always check out... High Pressure Pneumatics, because they carry Benjamin. And if he doesn't have it, I'm sure he can get it. But we're going to get shooting here, guys. Uh, hopefully, we get better groups than what I seen last time. Let's go. Mm -hmm. all right guys so we are set up first up we are going to use the mr hollow point 200 or 257 55 grain all right we're gonna do a five shot group and see what happens hopefully oh forgot to hit record on my other camera. It should work. Mm, it should work. Okay, it's working. We're going to take five shots with each slug that we got because it is a five shot magazine. I'm going to go for the top right or left. Top left. It started out good. One more. Hmm. All right. Next up, we are going to do the 70 grain Mr. Hollow Point slugs, then we'll do the 82 grain, and then we'll check out and see what the NSA 65 grain will do. I'm gonna fill up and be right back. All right, we are filled back up, and again, we have the uh, Mr. Hollow Point 70 grain. I will be posting a picture of the slugs as we shoot them so that way you guys can see what they look like. And we will hit record. Now we're going to go for the top right corner. We're starting strong. That 
one drop low. Not too bad. Those are did a lot better than the last ones, except for one we had dropped low. I'm finding out with this gun, it's not really made for heavy slugs. I've, I've played with it every which way, and I mean, the heavier the slug, the bigger my pattern seems to get because they are going a lot slower. The highest velocities I've got out of this gun is if I took it to 3600 PSI. And that is with the 55 grain, I was doing over a thousand feet per second, but then quickly dropped right into the nines. And that is actually what we're going to do after this. We're going to do all these shots at 3000, and then I'm going to do another set of shots at 3600, which I can't recommend you do, but that's what we're going to do. Because if you have any experience at all with the Benjamin Bulldogs, they do a lot better. A little past that 3000 mark uh, the Bulldog 357 original I would fill that up to 3600 and it did awesome and I'm I'm gonna think that the same thing is gonna happen with this but we're gonna find out so I'm going to fill back up and we're gonna do the 82 grain mr. hollow points next all right we are loaded back up the 82 grains just barely fit in the magazine. That'd probably be about the heaviest you could go with the Mr. Hollow Point slugs. So now we're gonna go to the bottom left. Maybe she likes longer slugs. We'll see. All right, she's really liking these 82 grains. That surprises me. Oh, I pulled that one. I'm going to say that last shot was me. I was really surprised by that. I did other testing with some heavy ammo, and I got nothing like that. Woo. So next up, we're going to try the NSAs. And then after that, we're going to do... I'm going to try all three Mr. Hollow Points at 3600 and see what happens i'll be right back ah, all right guys so we are loaded up with the nsa's and i know the only reason i have nsa's right now is because i know somebody's gonna say why didn't you try the nsa's well i just happen to have these and these are the lightest slugs i think they sell and these are 65 grams. So, bottom right. A little high. Hello. Hmm. 
Lay off. I think that's it. Yep, that is it. All right, so now I'm gonna fill up to 3600 PSI and I'm gonna put the chronograph on the front so we can see how fast those are going and how loud how fast the speed drops. Um, I have taken this gun and turned up the hammer spring. This is completely different than what I'm used to. If you turn this hammer spring all the way up, there is no point to which you can't cock this. So I don't know if they put something in here to make it so you can only put the hammer so far but I put it all the way forward and you can still cock it and smack it and it doesn't go off. But just to be safe, I put it all the way as far as it would go and I backed it off one turn. Uh, if you watch Pitbull, he did a video on this and I'm finding the same outcome is there's no bell curve. You just get steady drop. No matter how high you fill it to, there's really no bell curve. Uh, he took it up to 4,000 PSI. I'm not going to take it to 4,000 PSI. I know from personal experience I can safely fill this to 3,600 and not have any problems. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'll just aim at the corners in the same location, but the corner of the center diamonds. We'll see what happens. Oh, right. So just so you can see, I mean, we are past the 3,000, okay? So this is 3,600. My son's texting me, blowing up my phone. He knows I'm busy. Just to tell me he's at the park with his brother, he's going swimming. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn on our FX. I mean, if somebody wants to get me that lab thing, that'd be super sweet. Just saying. I got this busted old FX original on the front here. All right, let's go here. New shot string. We are already set up for 55 grains. And we are going to go for the left corner center diamond. One thousand two. One thousand two. Nine hundred eighty four. Nine hundred sixty five. Nine sixty five. Nine hundred sixty three. Nine sixty three. Nine hundred forty two. Nine forty two. Mm, probably about an inch and a half group. I think one got outside of our shot zone there. But still, that's a tighter group than what we shot at 3,000. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the 70 grain and then the 82 grain. And I know, I know, I didn't do one at the 3,000 mark. We'll do that 
So I'm not going to shoot them all at 3,000. We'll just shoot the 55 at 3,000. You know what? We'll shoot the 82 at 3,000 because that actually gave us our best group. And if that gives us our best group again, I mean, that's what we're probably going to use. So anyway, enough jabbering. Let's refill and reshoot. All right, so we are filled back up. 3,600, 70 grain, Mr. Hollow Points. This time we're gonna go for the same, same diamond, but on the right side. Make sure everything's going. Chronograph. No read. So just to make sure, this is why I'm saying I need a new one. Shut this off. Everything worked fine the first time. We don't have all that air, you know. Let's try it again. I'll read again. I don't know what to tell you guys. Maybe this ain't going to work out after all. Decent shot group, one flyer. Uh, I'm gonna refill, try again, see if I can get the chronograph to work. If not, I really don't know what to tell you. All right, so we're gonna try it again. Uh, apparently I only took four shots with the 70s. I figured that out after I went to load the mag. Anyway, we have the 82 grain. I have the chronograph on. Whether or not it reads or not, I do not know. But we are going to go for the bottom of that diamond. Now it works. 891. Eight sixty five. Eight hundred fifty six. Eight fifty six. Eight hundred. 835. 835. I hit the button. Ah, oh, I forgot to hit the record button. Well, you'll see the last shot. That's my day. That is my day today. Eight twenty-eight. So just out of curiosity, our highest shot was at eight ninety-one. That's a hundred and forty-four foot-pounds. That's pretty good. And I did not expect these eighty-two grains to do that well. Uh, my previous testing, I made a whole different video using 
AVN or AVS and NSA slugs and I personally thought they were all too heavy because I didn't really get any good results so I didn't even post it but I got these Mr. Hollow points in the other day and I figured hey let's see what happens and I am pleasantly surprised by these 82 grains. Oh, all right. So we will save that. We will shut off the camera and we're gonna go do our 50 yard walk. There's all my stuff. 50 yard walk. Look at that. Jealous. Yeah. So if you want to get one of these Benjamin air guns, I think you know who to check out. Go over there to High Pressure Pneumatics and see if he has any in stock. If he doesn't have any in stock, I'm pretty sure he can tell you when he can get it. And you will be really happy. Personally, I thought Benjamin was going to send me the M357 because I'm known for shooting deer. I didn't think they were going to send me the 257, but there's really not a whole lot of videos out there on the 257, so maybe that's why. Either way, I'm still happy to play with it. I'm not terribly disappointed with it, but I think we need to do some more testing and see what all we can do with it. But anyway, I'm going to flip you over and show you the shot groups. All right, so this is our 70 grain Mr. Hollow Points at 3600 PSI. This is our 70 grain Mr. Hollow Point at 3600 PSI. We did get this little flyer here, but that was still better than that. These are our 70 grain Mr. Hollow Points. Did I say that? 55 grain? I hope I said that. 70 grain at 3,000, 70 grain at 3,600. These are the 80 grain at 3,000. One flyer, but I'm pretty sure that was me. 80 grain at 3,600. I mean, that's really awesome. And this was NSA. I didn't feel it necessary to do 3600 because I already know it didn't do much better. All right, so for shits and giggles, I will do the 55 grain at 36 or 3000, and then I will do the 82 grain at 3000, so that way you can compare the different speeds. Really, we. We're only going down in velocity because, like I said, there's no bell curve to this gun. I think Pitbull had to literally modify the rifle to get any sort of bell curve. But let's go see what happens. All right. So one more time at the table. These are the 55 grain, 3,000 PSI. Really, all I'm going to do is see what sort of speeds we are getting out of it, if it reads it. Because we know sometimes it just don't work. Nine hundred seventy-four. Nine seventy-four, And it just kicked me out. See what happens. Nine hundred fifty eight. Nine fifty eight. Nine hundred forty two. Nine forty two. Nine hundred nineteen. Nine nineteen. Nine hundred. 902. 902. 
Nope. Somebody forgot to change the shot string. So whatever, that was one, two, three, four, five. So we got nine, 974, 958, 942, 919, and 902. And I will set that up here so you can compare the two. Now I'll have to screenshot that. And remember that shot number one was not the shot. Oh, and we're just gonna stay. We're just gonna stay on. <laughs> Refill. That only used about 500 psi. And this is why I stop the camera and do everything. Man, these things are huge. I'm pretty sure 82 grain is the max you're going to fit in here of Mr. Hollow Point slugs. I believe... 80, 85 grain was the biggest NSA I could fit in here. The 90 wouldn't fit. All right, now we have to new shot string. You guys seen it, I did it. New shot string. And change our projectile to 82 grain. And see if she works. Eight hundred twenty-three. Eight twenty-three is our starting number. Eight hundred. Eight twelve. Eight hundred on the dot. Eight hundred ninety-three. Seven ninety-three. And that gives us our highest foot pounds of a hundred and twenty three I believe I believe this is advertised at around a hundred and fifty foot pounds but I have not hit that mark a hundred and forty four is the highest that I've got it so we will save that and we will compare the two right here oh, I like this gun but I dislike this gun uh, there's some things I don't know why they didn't do. I don't know why they didn't give us the bigger air tube on here. I mean, sure, having the pick rail is cool, but more air is a little better. Uh, you can get an adapter so you can still put your bipod on it. That's, that's probably my biggest complaint other than the suppressor. The adapter they used is 18 by 1 instead of the half by 20. I don't understand that either. So I'm using a 357 suppressor on here instead of something like a 30 cal suppressor, which I would like to use. Uh, I was going to grab one and just throw it on there, and I noticed, yeah, that's not going to fit. So that's two things that kind of bug me. Other than that, I mean, it's your typical bulldog. Uh, Bulldog was the first gun that got me into air gunning. Uh, it was the first air gun I shot a deer with, and from there, I mean, we've just tried all sorts of different ones, haven't we? You guys have been there with me. 
But anyway, I'm going to get this wrapped up. Hopefully this gave you some information. We will get this out hunting. Uh, I think I'm going to put night vision on it. Maybe try to get a couple coons down with it. Because I think 120 foot pounds might do it. Uh, Michigan coons are kind of big. Almost as big as squirrels around here. You've seen these squirrels. Okay. But we're going to try. We'll be teeter tottering. I know Karen might not like it. But 120. Eh. Coon, coon might die. We'll see. But anyway, guys, keep shooting. Later.